In this video, I'm going to be reviewing and testing the Ori HDMI 1x2 extender splitter. Hey guys, this is AJ, the CEO. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and builds to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. All right, so some of the parts came in for the build and we got the Ori HDMI, uh, what is this? HD12EX132K, wow, what an interesting name. So anyway, it is distributes one HDMI source to two HD displays over LAN cables. 1080p signal up to 132 feet over LAN. Which makes me wonder, I want to test this because it says over LAN. I'm just wondering, are they talking about that I could actually plug this into my switch and have it distribute that way? I don't think that will work, but hey, I will test that just to see what this does. But this is... Um, how it's going to solve the issue of displaying out to two um, TVs in the sanctuary, one in the front, one in the back. And I'm going to make custom Cat6 cables so I don't have to worry about the length. It's going to be way less than 132 feet. But what I'm going to do is hook this up to my HD, my 4K TV right here, and then another gaming TV that's over here. Both of them do 1080p. So I'm going to hook this up to my. Um, Maybe I'll do it to my streaming PC because I'm installing a new video card right now. Darn you, Radeon 7. I will talk about that later. That was going to be one of my videos, but it conked out on me and I had to run out to Best Buy and get a new video card so I can finish doing all my stuff. So anyway, let's go ahead and hook this thing up. Well, actually, let's go ahead and move this over and let's see what's inside of it. Alrighty. Well, that's again, that's the HD12EX132K. Yeah, it just rolls off the tongue. All right, so let's see. All right, we got our wonderful little manual here. We have the two receivers here, which I'm used to having. Like when I, I did a previous video on how a while ago on how I hooked my um, drone up to my ATEM. Well, what's that old? Video? I can't remember. But anyway, I have something like this. And hold on, let me see what. Well, anyway, let me finish going through this and I'll compare it. So, these are the receivers that go back on the TV. And then this is the main one where the source comes in input, local output, and then two Cat6 outputs. There's some. EDID IDs, which I've done on my other one, which makes it send uh, the right signal um, automatically when you're connecting it to a the device that tries to do some type of handshake. Um, I have that for when I'm hooking up my PlayStation to my ATEM because they don't like that. Here is a link, light, and a reset button. That's pretty much it. And I'm assuming everything else under here is just going to be a bunch of power cables and IR blasters and stuff. Which I would be right. IR blaster. IR blaster. It's a power cable. Power plug. Another IR blaster. I'm assuming this is... All of these are the same, but one of them goes into this one and the other two go into this and some actual mounts here so i could actually screw this into the wall instead of double-sided velcro which i probably will do that makes it easy and this is another power plug i'm assuming the bigger size this is for the main unit all right so let me get this stuff set up connected like i said there's a tv right here And then another TV right here. I'm going to hook both of those up and see how everything looks. All right. Now, before I do this, like I said, we have our EDID settings. HDMI source device reads the EDIE, EDID information of the transmitter. And then output the relative HDMI signal format. 
So what we need to do is make sure this is correct. So I have multiple settings here. You can't see it, but I'll take a picture of it so you can actually read it. Um, I'm going to set mine to 1080p 60 hertz with 7.1 surround sound. So that's switch one and three are on and number two is off. So I just gotta push the middle one down. Real simple. Push that middle one down there. Like that. So now we're set to HDMI, I mean 1080p 60 Hertz with 7.1 surround sound. And if that doesn't work, we will go ahead and switch it to 2.1 surround sound 1080p all right and it goes down to 720 um but again we're pushing out 1080 so let me go back and finish plugging all this stuff up all right first off this is my mini streaming pc that used to be in the node 202 but i moved it into a smaller system here so I have that running out. That's what this cable is right here. That's the main display. Now I have this one. This is the local HDMI out, which is going into my ATEM. So let me switch over to the multi display. So I'm using the local end to go into my ATEM and that's what you see being displayed right now. So don't get that confused. This is the multi display. But if we go down here, I am looping out here to that switch that has the HDMI all the way up here into input number two. All right, so that's on source number two. So that's just the system by itself. And as you can see, it picks up the PC. Oh, wait a minute. Picks up PC. So this is not the feed from the ATEM. This is actually the feed as if it was another monitor coming directly from the computer. All right. And just to prove that, because if I disconnect this, there's no source going into the ATEM. So you can tell when I unplug this. See, I have no source but I still have an image here. So that's just proof. I have this up so I can actually record what I'm doing. All right, all right. So now I have a homemade Cat6 cable here and this one is going to the other output over to the other TV right there and boom, there we go. All right, real cool. So what I need to do now is I'm duplicating the output on the screen. What I'm going to do now, since I know this works, I'm actually going to bring up Worship Extreme and then actually set monitor number two, which is going to two monitors as the output and just see what that looks like when I bring up scripture or something like that. All right. So we're here in Worship Extreme. We have our layout. And like I said, I have this set up as my first display and all the other ones are set up as secondary. Let me turn this off here for a second. So as you can see, you got the other one going behind me, which is going over the Cat6 right there through the adapter. And just so y'all can see. So that's number one, and that's number two. So everything is good. Now let's go back to our song, bring it up. Got our lyrics, so we got that's coming through the ATEM right now, which is being recorded on OBS. Here's the primary screen. There's my car, primary screen. Just had to throw that in. That's one output going over Cat6 right there. That's the adapter going up and plugged into there. And then if we look over here to number two, boom, there we go. So this is a quality example of what we're going to be putting in place. So I'm excited the fact that 
it's a new product that I can add into my list of things to use and I will have a description for that in the bottom so that you can get your own if you're in the type of unique situation that I'm in and the good thing about this because I have the HDMI out that I'm using so if they wanted to do another display and I wanted to do in lower cost without going the SDI route which normally I would use um, but the good thing is I can get another one of these double stack it have the output HDMI output from the first one going into the HDMI in for the second one and now I have another two screens that can actually do the same thing and I'm not gonna do it right now but I am gonna try and connect this to my network and just see what happens um, I don't know if it's gonna crash everything but anyway that's how this is I got the computers gonna come in um, it's gonna be here actually Tuesday I'm gonna put that in place and the wall mounts actually came in as well today but all the rest of this is going to be wrapped up and actually installed on Wednesday and I will bring y'all with me. So if y'all like this type of content, guys, I would appreciate a like, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification. That way you get notified when we come out with other new videos like this. This is AJ and we will see you on the next video later.